energy healing is a natural gift. Hey guys, how are you doing? I uh, hope you're doing well. I just want to jump on here and discuss a little bit about energy healing. Um, it's chilly out here. <laughs> but uh, um, energy healing is a natural gift, and we all have the ability to do that. And, um, you know, as um, prior to awakening, you know, I had little instances, you know, about things that, you know, I was able to pick up on <clears throat> on an energetic level. Um, but I really wasn't aware of what that all what that all meant because you know of course I was in my Laura self, um, but with the understanding of it that I have now um, after awakening, um, so it makes more sense, right? And so after awakening, um, having all that makes sense, you know, putting it all together. Um, I've come to realize that, you know, we have the ability to read energy and uh, we may be picking up on the stuff that's not ours, um, but we think it is because we don't know that we have that. And so that's a teaching that's been taken away from us, you know, for a long time over, over time, you know, because it's considered evil or bad. Um, and so the concept of, um, you know, doing things like that you know, aren't acceptable in society. And so we've forgotten about it because we don't talk about it or um, whatever is the case. But um, basically we all have the ability to read, tune into energy, um, do energy healing. Um, it's a natural gift. It's given to us as part of our way of existing here because um, we need to have a way to be able to exist and heal you know on on energetic level because everything um, starts on an energetic level right and so you may not uh, believe that it is you know if you say um you know well what about a broken bone right well obviously there's something that caused you to have that broken bone right so are you not in tune with um the right foods that you're eating right are you uh, doing too many things in life where you need to rest and so consciously or subconsciously uh, you create that situation so now you have to take time off right everything starts on an energetic level right if we're not adhering to our higher conscious our wisdom our knowledge our you know what we should be doing things happen we create that right subconsciously unconsciously so everything starts at an energetic level. And so over the time evolving from on, you know, the uh, pre-awakening to after awakening, <clears throat> you know, I, I had these experiences before, but I really didn't know what they were. Um, after awakening, you know, I've had the soulmates um, experience and that really brought it to the forefront for me um, because we were having, um, not to get explicit, but uh, we were having a romantic um, moments you know with each other and so as I was being present with him in that moment like massaging you know um, his back I was able to tune in just by rubbing my hand over that area that there was something there and I was like I didn't know what it was but what was it you know and I was tuning into it and it was like I realized he had cancer developing he never told me that, and um, it was really interesting because it being that severe cancer, I'm like, okay, am I just thinking this? Am I like, what it was? It made me question because it was that severe because cancer is a serious thing, right? Um, now he drank, he smoked, you know, so um, it's a possibility, right? At that time when I was with him. So I was like, okay, you know, later on after that, you know, that had set an imprint into me to dive more into it. And so as time went by, it was like, I was so connected to him because he was a soulmate and he sparked my Kundalini awakening. Um, <clears throat> but I learned a lot of things from him being in my life the short time that he was there. And I'll share those <laughs> experiences with you, but this is one of them. Um, like I, I was, 
you know, and I didn't know anything really about energy healing or Reiki or anything like that, but that set me on the path to Reiki. And so I took Reiki one, two, and three. Um, and then I started doing energy healings and um, helping people uh, rewire their energy systems, things like that, and um, helping them to heal certain things, uh, cutting cords, you know, all that. Um, so I went on that journey, you know, that, and that kind of was sparked from the soulmates, bringing that to my forefront about energy, like energy reading, energy healing, um, understanding that everything comes from an energetic form to physical form, just like we are from source to our physical form, whatever form we're taking up. Everything comes from a physical uh, or an energetic to a physical, and it resonates to a point where you are physical manifesting, right? It's like a solidity of it, of the energy that becomes form that we take up. Um, so that kind of had helped bring in a lot of knowledge and wisdom because when you go on the journey of Reiki, you're um, opening yourself up to, you know, more of energy healing. You can see energy in, in space. You can tune into guys, everything about that person and their energy. And things just started to make more sense for me. So, you know, having that experience going through Reiki brought in a lot of other you know, information. So if you're definitely uh, wanting more information on that, you can book a session with me. I do do coaching, um, energy healings, work, things like that. All right. So. I uh, just want to kind of bring that out to you. You know, that is a natural um, process for the human. Um, and so we're, it's not something that, you know, is um, like evil or bad, right? So um, with that being said, you know, uh, something to, for you guys to play around with uh, for yourself and for you to um, have that experience for yourself, right? And so with the, our palms on our hands and just to give you, you know, it's like the palms of your hand you pick up energy on, right? Um, there's also other parts of you that bring in energy. We're always absorbing energy information yeah, um, all the time and we're just not aware of it, right? Because we only think that we see, we're only taught about our physical senses, right? They don't teach us about our energetic senses. Um, and because they don't want us to know about them, right? They want us to use our physical senses in human form, and that's the way why it's created, and that's why we're only taught that in school. We're not taught about our uh, physical senses. You have to go to a spiritual place outside of that to uh, learn about your, your spiritual senses, right? Because they separated it for a reason, right? Because, of course, society is wanting you to participate in satiety, satiety society and you can't be part of society if you're doing your uh spiritual sense right so it doesn't they separated it right um so that way uh and i i don't know who said it and uh, you know i've kind of heard this over time like um and i don't remember who it is but it's like they had said that they wanted to create you know um you know the the classes and then the working uh, force and things like that for a reason because they want a society to be a working um, force. So it's kind of set up that way, right? So you have your spiritual aspect separate, you're working, and then everything else is kind of like broken down into separate um, aspects, right, uh, that we live our lives in. Um, anyway, classifications, however you want to talk about it. Um, but anyway, energy healing, energy reading, um, connecting with others through your true uh, senses, not just your physical senses, is, is real. Um, it's nothing to be ashamed of, nothing evil about it. It's part of who we are, and we need to bring those together, right? Use them together. Because um, then uh, you're actually being true to yourself, right? Um, if you're only using your physical senses, then you're negating everything else about yourself, right? So um, definitely check it out um, and experiment, you know, um, see if you can see energy. Um, and I'll, you know, have a, a video on how do you do that. But um, start running your hands over and sense the palms of your hands and see what you can pick up as you're touching things, you know. Um, if you go to the grocery store, feel food, right? Put your hand over the food. Um, put your hand over water. Uh, put your hand over where somebody was sitting or put your hand over somebody's body, you know, what are you picking up on? Everybody can just do this. You don't need to have Reiki. It's a natural instinct. 
Reiki does help you open up more um, through that practice because uh, you're um, focusing on that and that's your intention to reawaken your uh, your gifts of energy, right? Your, your spiritual gift of reading energy, vibration. Just like our natural language is telepathy, um, not verbally. Verbally is your physical form. Telepathy is um, your spiritual, just, you know, uh, form of communication. I have a video on that as too when I was little. Um, but um, yeah, check it out. Uh, you know, start in investigating, reconnecting with your spiritual gifts, your divine gifts um, for healing. Um, heal yourself. Take Reiki if you want. Um, it's definitely out there. It's everywhere. It's um, being brought out there to the masses for a reason. Because right now we're going through a time where we do want to start reconnecting with our true selves. Um, and then just um, stepping away, you know, from having that separate. It's all coming back into uh, being true with ourselves and one, right? And so bringing that back into our lives and living from that space. All right. So um, pretty much everything I wanted to share on that. Um, and then just uh, reach out again if you have any questions, want to do any sessions, want to learn about Reiki, want to have a coaching session, anything like that. Um, uh, just put some comments in the in the in below if you have any questions on that. And happy journeys.